Aloha worm ohana. Here we are again and it's week two of our brand new worm bin. And uh, last week you set up your bin, you threw in whatever you had around the house, a pound, two pounds, three pounds of food waste. And now we're on our second feeding. So it's been about a week. I've been watering my worms every day. I've been peeking in at them, but there doesn't seem to be much going on except a lot of ants crawling around and a few other bugs. So um, I'm not sure what we're gonna have here, but I'm assuming that these worms ate up most of the food. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna take a look at the side I fed last week and see what's left. There should be some wormies floating around in here, but I've been bugging them here in the light. And as you know, they're photophobic. So they've all disappeared underneath the surface. But trust me, when I first opened this, I did see worms in here and I certainly see what they've done. There's a little bit of banana peel and some corn and a peach left, but for the most part, it looks to me like they have eaten all three pounds and whatever it was, 12 ounces that I gave them last week. So that's good. I don't see them, but I, I see their activity and I trust that, that they're doing a good job. So now it's time to feed the for the second time. And as you know, I like to alternate from side to side. So I'm just gonna pull the paper back. And remember, we're not layering. So pull your paper layer out of the way so you're back to the bedding. And ooh, I see a black soldier fly larvae. Ah, now there's a critter we ought to talk about. So when we're done with our feeding, we'll have a little lesson on the black soldier fly larvae because I guarantee you, you are gonna meet these guys in your bin sooner or later. Anyway, I have some food for them. I've already zeroed out my scale. I've been collecting food in my fridge. It's not all that interesting, but here we go. I had a moldy hot dog bun or two. I chopped up a uh, rotten apple. I have, oh, the usual tropical fruit medley, pineapple, um, lots of banana. I have some carrot pulp from juicing. I have a little bit of kiwi peels and stuff in there. And, uh, you know, it's not that exciting, but it, it's pretty exciting to worms because it, it's food waste. They love it all. So I'm guessing I have three or four pounds here. Let's see what we have. I already zeroed out my scale. What do I have? About four and a half pounds. Is that what you see? Yeah, four and a half pounds. Okay, it sounds pretty good. I knew they could handle that three pounds all right, and they did just fine. So I'm pretty confident that this is not going to be a problem. So I just dump it in, bloop, shake it out. Let me wash it out. Okay, does that look good? Mmm, yum, tropical fruit medley again. Are you kidding me? They get pretty sick of that during the summer. When school starts again, I have lots more exciting food for them, but this is okay. They will enjoy every bit of this. And I make sure my bread gets really wet and broken up. The grains can sometimes get real clumpy in there. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. So I kind of spread it out so it's even. And people say, oh, pineapple, that's too acid. No, it isn't, they love pineapple. They'll go through that real quick. So once I get my food spread out, I will put the old paper back on top. And as you see, it's kind of been disintegrating over the week. So I might want to freshen it up a little. I try and spread it out as fluffy as I can. And Gonna add a little fresh to this to cover up the pukas. So, hi, Wormy. You having a good time in here yet? No? You will, just you wait. So again, I've got ants and other critters that have come in to uh, deal with the overload. The worms themselves will deal with it by producing more worms. They will respond to the overabundance of food by creating more worms. But there, it takes them a while, so in the meantime, you get these other organisms to come in to deal with the crisis of too much nutrition in one place. They're gonna move it out. They're gonna try and balance out the planet by getting this excess food out of there. So don't worry about them. They're not causing you any harm whatsoever. And don't think of them as the enemy. These guys are your friends, they came to help. So they will do their job for a while and then they'll disappear as the worms become more established in your bin. So let me uh, rip up some paper, give a little fresh layer, water them in and we'll be done. It's pretty easy, this should take you just a few minutes every week. Again, good old midweek, it's the best. Be sure you take out the shiny pizza ads and any other glossy paper 
before you start ripping it up. But midweek works just great, and I know you get it whether you want it or not. All right, now I'm going to fluff this up, water my hands a little bit. I like to fluff it up outside the bin if possible. And whoa, once I get it nice and loose, I'm going to put it back in. Oh, there's a pizza ad. Oh, I don't want that. I'm going to pull those out. Yeah, glossy paper um, doesn't break down very well. It's actually a clay coating. And um, you'll find it in there when you do your harvest. It just doesn't break down. Anyway, I missed that pizza ad. Okay, fluff it up. Make sure all the pukas are covered. I got it nice and fresh. I had quite a thick layer on there to begin with, so there wasn't much to put on. Oh, shiny. Okay, all fluffy. I got single sheets everywhere. Looks great. Let me just do a little squirt to knock it down. See if there's any pukas I need to see, uh, fill. No, it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put on the bin blanket. Water it down really great until it drips out the bottom of the bin. Every day I flush my bed with nice cool water. That makes the worms really happy. So that's it. We did our second feeding. Nothing to it. Next week we'll go back to our original side. It should be completely gone by then or very nearly so. And we will add a little more because it looks like this uh, robust colony is able to handle what, what I'm putting in. So I'm going to add a little bit more. I have it. Now, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Our goal is to get your worm colony to the point where it can handle whatever you generate. Don't be slave to your worms. I get literally tons of food waste every week to deal with, so I try and push them. But just feed them what you've got on hand. And if you've been buying fruit already chopped up, don't do that anymore. <laughs> Get the whole fruit. Cut off the peels and rinds and skins and feed them to your worms. It'll cost less and you'll feed yourself and you'll feed your wormies too. So happy feeding. We'll see you next week. We'll do the third feeding and talk about a few more things. But right now, let's take a look at the black soldier fly larvae because I know it is an insect you will be meeting, if not now at some point during your career as a vermicomposter.